All right, it's Friday, also known as Cut Day at the U.S. Open. And because it's Cut Day, the pressure is on, right? You have to get there. You have to be on the numbers so you can continue to play through the weekend. Some things that would help those guys is if they remember they need to work in all planes of motion and they need to learn to generate more force through the ground, up through the legs, to the core, out to the ball. That way they'll be able to have the endurance and stamina to make it through the weekend. So let me show you three things on this box that can help you, and they're box jumps. Now I know not everybody can do box jumps, and if you can't, it's okay. You can actually jump on the ground doing the same motions or movements so that you can avoid a little more impact. I don't jump down from the box because I have low back pain and also have a knee that's barely hanging on, but I can jump up onto the box. So let me show you. We'll do with the first thing we're gonna do is a little sagittal plane jump, just straight up. Land, hold your landing, stick it, hold it for about three seconds. Make sure your toes are pointed forward, your knees are over your toes, everything's in line, right? So that's your front, jump up. That's working in your sagittal plane. Now we wanna work in the front plane. So we're gonna go from, from the side. And again, you wanna land, stick it, check your alignment on your toes and knees, see how it looks. Do one more of those. Good. Then you step down. And now for the last one, I'm gonna jump and work in the rotational plane or the transitional plane, I should say, but in a rotation manner. So I jump up, sideways, okay? Side, stick it. Those are three ways to help generate more force through the ground, build that speed, that power, that's gonna help out your golf game and help you make it to the weekend.